Hello, I'm uh, glad to be here. Um, when I was a kid, I was a typical student of public school. But uh, I like to play and I like to explore new things. I like to discuss, ask questions and uh, I like to make things. And these all things uh, was uh, something wrong in the school because that disrupt lessons. So I uh, have my own parallel system for learning, some PC games, scouting and uh, things like that, May maybe Dungeons and Dragons. And we work with friends on many projects when we, we was uh, young. Uh, I am young, but when I was a child. So, uh, after 17 years I was spending uh, school, I realized uh, that something missed me. It was freedom, uh, maybe play, and uh, work with uh, real problems. So I uh, decide to change this and uh, find a way how to change education. Uh, in Hemisfera, we uh, want to uh, innovate uh, education, but we don't do this by classical way, like uh, political activism or uh, some change uh, inside system, but uh, we make it uh, with uh, uh, our business. We want to uh, make pressure on the uh, system. Uh, we use uh, market as a force uh, to transform education uh, because it's a signaling, uh, signaling uh, system for other participants on the market. I call this uh, entrepreneurial uh, activism uh, and uh, it's the method in which you uh, try to uh, change system by uh, using knowledge of the market mechanisms. Okay, uh, so in practice it means we uh, develop some products that are, uh, uh, that are con uh, concurrents to the uh, classical state education uh, and uh, we uh, compete uh, in the fields that classical system can't resolve or uh, in fields uh, that uh, we think are not uh, well resolved. Uh, the main reason uh, for this all is uh, that Slovak education uh, resist to any change for many years. Uh, it's a little freedom in the Slovak education, uh, so some evolutionary change isn't possible. Uh, I, okay, uh, today I show you some of our products uh, and uh, services, uh, and I uh, say you how uh, we uh, develop them and how we come to this uh, to this position, and uh, then I show you some inspirations that inspirates me, and uh, I uh, say you about what uh, mean the radical innovation in the education for me. Okay, uh, so uh, this is my old school, <laughs> and this is uh, what we do. Our first product is a uh, gamification system. Uh, that means we use game mechanics and uh, uh, gaming psychology to enhance uh, attention and motivation of our students. Uh, they have some challenges uh, like, uh, like here, some, uh, they can program something in the scratch and then uh, they can earn some experience points, uh, some uh, levels, some coins, uh, and uh, they can uh, compete together in some leaderboards. Uh, they can earn coins, so they can uh, buy something on our market or shop, uh, and uh, that learns them to saving money and set our goal, uh, uh, set their own goals, that can they achieved. Uh, 
So uh, it looks like this, and we use it in every product we, uh, we have. Okay, then we have our summer camp. Uh, it's, uh, I can uh, say some uh, summer camp based on freedom because uh, children have many possibilities there. They can do sport, they can create things, uh, they can uh, do crafts and uh, they can play board games or uh, working with PC. Uh, they have freedom to choose what they want to do. Uh, this, this freedom is uh, base and a super structure on it is uh, this uh, gamification system. Children uh, very like this system because they uh, sometimes come uh, maybe uh, three or four times uh, during the summer because we have one week batches and uh, during the summer we have more than 300 uh, children. Uh, so uh, they have their uh, environment that, where they can explore what they uh, like, what they want to learn, and uh, they have uh, time for relax and fun. Okay. Then uh, we have uh, GameCraft. Uh, GameCraft is a game development course for children where they can learn uh, programming, uh, graphic and game design and many other things like project management, uh, teamwork and uh, some cooperation and effectivity in the work uh, with PC. Uh, they, have, uh, they can choose uh, in which uh, field they want to specialize. Uh, everyone work on something else. There are children there are uh, very young, maybe eight uh, uh, years old, and then they, there are children that are 15 years old. And older children helps the younger. So uh, we have very good atmosphere the, there. And uh, mm, they, uh, after they uh, learn something, maybe Scratch, maybe Construct to the their engines, maybe Unity, uh, then can spe specialize in graphics or in programming, and they can make a multidisciplinary team and work on more complex uh, things. Uh, so they learn teamwork and uh, stuff like that. Uh, we uh, have uh, we we uh, cooperate with some game developer studios. Um, for example, uh, Pixel Federation. I don't know if you know Pixel Federation. It's a big company that makes game, and uh, so we can uh, offer children an opportunity to see uh, how it works in the real world. world. Uh, for example, they can uh, go to internship or they can uh, go to game jams where they coding uh, games in a uh, uh, short time or they can go to excursion. Uh, so they see, uh, see what uh, is the real life of the game developer. Uh, we have uh, we are in the uh, on the seven schools now. Uh, we have more than 150 children that uh, learn game development, and uh, this uh, this is the uh, fourth year uh, from the start. We start with this product. So ma many children have own games, own websites, and uh, uh, some of them uh, won't uh, maybe have in future own co game company. <laughs> uh, okay, the, now we're working on uh, the new product that's EduQuest, and it's long-term educational LARP. Uh, LARP uh, means uh, live action role play. Uh, it's uh, combine uh, education 
with uh, with the story. We have story where is the super real and allies uh, some adventure and uh, and the children are in the role of the space cadets. They explore. Uh, explore space and uh, visit some planets uh, and uh, on every planet is some problem they want uh, they must to resolve uh, the main theme of uh, this uh, capital is uh, is uh, Maslow pyramid of needs uh, every planet symbolize one of the human need uh, for example, uh, hunger. We have a planet uh, where is desert, and uh, some alien ask uh, the cadets uh, that they uh, want to uh, uh, if they want to help him, and uh, he won't grow the food on the surface. So uh, then comes the educational part, where children come to the computer. Uh, on, uh, and to find some information on the internet. They work uh, with informations and uh, making own project. Uh, so they learn uh, in uh, this planet biology, geography, working with information and uh, many other things. Uh, and uh, there, there will be planets with uh, uh, mathematics uh, challenges with uh, maybe first aid challenges and other. So uh, we we now use the special thing uh, because the uh, teacher is the actor that plays the NPCs, non-player characters, <laughs> for known gamers. <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, we have this program, Facerick, and it's mapping uh, the face of the uh, teacher to. Uh, this animated character, so uh, children can uh, speak with real character in a real time. I can show you. We have uh, now a promo video in uh, development, uh, but I can sh uh, can show you what we have. This is the teacher. Okay, so uh, uh, children uh, really like this, and uh, uh, I see in this uh, uh, big potential because uh, uh, in future we can use maybe uh, augmented reality or mixed reality to enhance the experience of this product. Okay. Asi som si to pokazil. <laughs> Sorry. OK. So, uh, our uh, roots are uh, punk because uh, we start uh, as a very small company. Uh, I start alone with only 1,000 uh, euros. And I uh, turn over uh, and over this 1,000 euros, and uh, now we are much bigger fir uh, firm, and uh, the val value of the company uh, is uh, I am uh, sure is more than 1,000 euros. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, for me, is this important because many uh, projects in education uh, sell uh, their independence for uh, little money from uh, uh, grants for co uh, big companies or um, or some state grants or uh, they take some investors. But uh, they lose uh, the opportunity to learn how to grow from uh, from the scratch, and uh, I, I see uh, in this uh, uh, in this uh, growing from the scratch uh, opportunity to learn 
uh, how to be anti-fragile. So when comes the problem, we see what we learned in the uh, past and we can uh, take this knowledge uh, to the future. So, <laughs> and uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, all products uh, we work uh, with, um, it's only uh, some start uh, because we want uh, in future have own uh, school. So I, I have some uh, inspiration, what I want, uh, uh, want uh, use uh, in this school, and it's uh, mindfulness, nonviolent communication, freedom to learn, gamification, serious gaming, LARPing, or project-based learning, new technologies, and uh, simulations of economical life. So, um, I, I, sh uh, I can show you every this principle and say something about this. Uh, first is uh, mindfulness. Mindfulness uh, comes from uh, East, maybe, uh, from <laughs> Theravada Buddhism. And uh, some psychologists studied these uh, meditation techniques and things like that and find that it's good for all people. It's not only some uh, religion stuff, but it's very healthy because uh, uh, neuroscientists uh, uh, find that uh, our brains, uh, when we meditate, uh, some time, uh, uh, become more neuroplastic and uh, the gray, uh, uh, gray matter in our brain increased. So, so uh, that are some neuroscience stuff. And uh, from psychological perspective, uh, it increased concentration, empathy, self-regulation and other stuff. Uh, people that meditate are, are more peaceful or, or, and stoic. Uh, what I see in my pra uh, practice was that uh, I uh, sometimes uh, react uh, automatically. But when uh, I can uh, watch what I feel and what I think and, uh, and what I what is perception uh, that comes to me, uh, th then I can uh, non-identify uh, non with these uh, bad feelings, maybe maybe anger, maybe, maybe fear, and I can uh, stop this uh, automatic uh, reaction and uh, make something that is more wiser. Uh, this is a uh, very good uh, infrastructure for nonviolent communication. Nonviolent communication uh, is uh, communication based on uh, human needs. Uh, the main uh, idea is we shouldn't judge other people, but we uh, should understand their needs. And then we can uh, change uh, conflicts to uh, opportunity to uh, find strategies uh, where we can together, together find uh, uh, together uh, satisfies our needs. Uh, it, uh, it is a process where we uh, first uh, watching uh, to insight and uh, find identity Identify what uh, happens inside, maybe some feelings, maybe some needs, and uh, ob objective situation, and uh, then we can these needs communicate. So, uh, so we uh, open the safe uh, space for uh, connection uh, between two people. Uh, and uh, then uh, 
then we can find a strategy that is good for uh, all uh, people in, in the class maybe. Uh, in the class it has potential because uh, it can make a family uh, atmosphere and safe, uh, safe environment. So uh, then, uh, then a very important is for me freedom to learn. Uh, Peter Gray uh, is psych uh, was or is psychologist that studies this phenomenon. And uh, it's uh, about uh, that, uh, that children uh, like to learn normally. But uh, the classical school is a cl uh, killer of the curiosity, uh, independence, and uh, love, or, and uh, the joy of learning. Uh, when uh, someone has uh, freedom to learn own way, he, uh, he finds inside motivation and uh, can learn better can learn more, more effective. Uh, Peter Gray with his team uh, make before, I think, 30 years uh, this school where there are no marks, uh, there are uh, no uh, classrooms, uh, there are no uh, school subjects. Uh, children can choose uh, anything, uh, anytime, what they want to learn and uh, or they can only play and uh, learn through the play. Uh, and uh, there are children from four years uh, to 18 years old. So uh, the, the information can flow from older ch children to the younger. Uh, and uh, this is uh, not only one uh, school in the world. There are many, they call democratic schools. Many of them uh, have only few, uh, few, um, only few um, principles that must uh, children uh, doing and after that they can uh, choose anything. And uh, the community make uh, their own rules, so children uh, are uh, feel responsibility to uh, to go with these rules. So, okay, and uh, then uh, very new thing that is here only maybe mm, ten years or or 20 years are educational PC games. Uh, uh, we, uh, we can use uh, emotion that have children uh, from games for education because uh, PC games show them some heroes, some uh, interesting stories that inspire them and they are very interactive uh, and play is uh, from psychological perspective the core of the learning because uh, for example uh, children from uh, uh, before school learn only uh, with uh, playing through the play so, there is some games that call serious games and they can uh, learn uh, learn us how to coding or how to uh, do mathematics or uh, they can give us some moral insight. Uh, for example, this is a game uh, 1979 revolution, it's game about uh, revolution in Iran, so children can learn their uh, history uh, and uh, other 
things like that. Uh, and they can make uh, very interesting uh, choices, moral. Uh, so they have safe place to explore uh, what is moral, what is unmoral, what uh, it has, uh, if, if it has some consequences. Uh, you can see this here. So you are on the protest and you can throw a rock on, don't throw the rock. <laughs> Okay, and uh, then is very important uh, thing is project-based learning uh, because uh, the school is sterile and uh, we need environment where uh, children can uh, see the uh, real life because real life is dynamic, everything changes, sometimes it's cruel and uh, sterile uh, environment uh, can uh, only show them something uh, that it's not real. Uh, and project-based learning uh, uh, give them opportunity to make things inter interdisciplinary. And uh, very interest, uh, very important is to learn children technology because. Uh, they can be, uh, it's better when they will be producers than consumers. And uh, for me, very important is uh, uh, show children uh, economic life because it's a big part of our life, money and, uh, and entrepreneurship. Uh, and the classical schools ignores this. Uh, so, there are some tools, how can we show them, like uh, students' companies, like some uh, school currencies and things like that. Okay, uh, I have, haven't got so much time. Uh, uh, I, uh, I want to say the uh, last thing. Uh, we are not uh, alone, there are more, more pro projects in Slovakia. So we cooperate together and uh, then can uh, something more complex uh, emerge. Uh, for example, uh, we work uh, with uh, project Butterfly Effect, uh, that is education for adults in gaming and uh, app design. Uh, and uh, we work together on the system where children start uh, in seven years and can go through, through the system to 26 years and can learn complex things about game development. So uh, this is possible when projects uh, work together because it needs some uh, spe specialization on the market to make uh, more complex things. So thank you very much. Uh, have you any questions? Yes, thank you for your talk. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So if you have any questions, I will pass mic uh, to you. Uh, I have a first one, if I can. You have a very interesting um, uh, approach to competition. We've, we've been talking about this before and I really like that you try to uh, build the scene so you actually try to help your competition. So if you can tell us something about how you view competition in, in this field. So when, when you have a competitor that is providing these services, uh, I have a perception that you try to help them because it helps you and so on. Yes, uh, so uh, on the start of the market, uh, nobody, uh, the, the customers don't know uh, what, what is the product, uh, don't uh, learn anything about price of the products, and there is no specialization. Uh, so there is no good uh, environment to grow. And uh, it's uh, good for everyone on the market to educate customers, to uh, make uh, some infrastructure so everyone can grow. And uh, when uh, it markets come to uh, their 
adulthood or something like that. This then can uh, uh, maybe some competitors uh, fight uh, together. But what is uh, good uh, for the market is maybe some... Uh, uh, w when the competitor steals ideas uh, and uh, inspirates uh, together, uh, because it's good for the customer, because the uh, market uh, uh, innovate more faster. So. Um, maybe uh, in one side uh, it's maybe altruistic, in the other hand it's egoistic and uh, these two things must uh, go together, I think. <laughs> so, In your um, LARP mm -hmm. um, game, how, how, does the, how does the teacher work? Do you have a person who operates that teacher? And how do you find those people, and how, do, how does that okay. work? This is only in development, so we are very, uh, very, very small team. Uh, we, on, uh, we are only two that, uh, uh, that uh, testing with the children. So um, maybe uh, when I uh, was testing with the children, I was the uh, some... Uh, I was the alien and I uh, act as an alien. So uh, then, then we uh, or or we play some uh, scene where uh, where uh, they uh, flying through the space and there are some asteroids. They they must. Uh, uh, they, they must destroy and things like that. And after that, uh, we stop and we go to the work uh, when is uh, when is there some educational uh, challenge. And we work with the computers, with the, the papers where they draw something, where they make uh, some uh, uh, where, where they put their knowledge and uh, then then after that is present presentation like this. They say we find that we can grow food uh, because in the in the desert is under the uh, under the ground some uh, uh, desert river and things like that. So it looks like this. <laughs> okay. I do like the. Uh image that uh, little child did, you know which one I mean, uh, the cat, I think, cat and uh, some mouses and rats or whatever. I don't remember exactly the the game was about education mm -hmm. and uh, I think she was eight or nine years old, if I remember correctly. And I would be interested in uh, seeing another work if you have uh, some news uh, like new images of little children that they make, that mm -hmm. they are very, very nice, and all the games or whatever they yes. make. So. Uh, yes, uh, we, ha we have some talent talented children. Uh, now they, uh, we go to some competition that uh, calls Spongia, uh, you know, maybe. And... Uh, they uh, work on, uh, they did something like Game Jam because they have a team and working on uh, on uh, this uh, game in, uh, uh, in uh, they have a deadline. So, so they have, uh, they have uh, not, uh, only few time resources, so they must manage them. And I can show you maybe what on what they work now. Maybe they need uh, some uh, uh, optimization, and you can say them what <laughs> to do. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, in your presentation, uh, when it comes to um, yeah IT um, 
learning how to use IT and uh, learning how to program, you always talked about programming games. And that's okay. really nice. And I think many children uh, really like this approach. But I, for one, uh, I never really like games. Do you give them the opportunity to build uh, real systems to do uh, real engineering tasks? or uh, No, because... Uh... We haven't so much resources for that. We must specialize. So there are maybe other pro pro uh, projects that can uh, do this. Because uh, this is not only about education. This is uh, uh, maybe business side of it. That when you scale something, you have uh, problem with people's problem with uh, resources and you manage, must manage them so uh, uh, I like to do any, anything and everything but I haven't time for that I haven't uh, I must put attention to one thing to, uh, and make it good so that's my answer <laughs> so these kids who are going to your program, they also have to go to government schools? Or yes. they, so this is only in addition? In addition, they go to your program? Uh, yes, they uh, go to government school, but in future we want to have own school. But this is in horizon, uh, maybe horizon, uh, maybe four or five years in future. Hi. Uh, my question is, uh, how much do you consult the education sector, the actual teachers working with the children? That's the first one. And the second one, are there levels for different age groups of, of children for your products? Okay. Uh, the first question was? How much do you consult the education sector? Like, do you consult the actual professors of... Okay. Um... I am in the contact uh, with uh, some teachers, but uh, uh, we are uh, maybe <laughs> uh, parallel, uh, so I don't see uh, to the education uh, sector. Uh, every time I uh, speak with some teachers, uh, I, uh, I heard only things about uh, that are that everything frustrate them and there are some political structure in uh, Slovakian education, everything is problem. So uh, I am in the bubble uh, uh, because this is something else and um, I don't uh, see maybe a way to uh, take, take teachers from the system to our, our system, but uh, I want in future work with uh, young uh, ped pedagogues that learn only uh, things on the school because they have open mind, maybe. Uh, for, for many uh, for many teachers, is this too much, maybe? Uh, but th there are some in our community that understands what we do. So, and the second uh, question was uh, uh, no, no, we have uh, in one uh, lesson uh, children from eight to fifteen, maybe, and uh, they they can uh, cooperate together. So, so. So it's normal that uh, the 13 years old uh, boy have friend that have 10 years. Okay. Okay. Um, hi. Okay. <laughs> um, you you were talking about uh, a lot about uh, gamification and um, that it works very well with children. What? Uh, yes. And uh, I can believe this. And it's. Um, on one side, it's very good because, um, yes. of course, you can motivate them. Okay. On the other side, um, gamification also poses a danger because it's... Um, 
Yes. It's training children on this constant dopamine yes, surge yes, yes. and everything. Uh, but then you talked about mindfulness, which is the exact opposite, kind of, and which, yes. again, um, is, the, is the right balance to gamification, I think. But how, how do you manage to teach children mindfulness um, in this very um, uh, gamificated context, okay. you know? With, with my as we start only uh, there is some problems uh, with mindfulness and with gamification uh, you can use gamification to manipulate someone's mind uh, it's the ethical flaw uh, so uh, it's about the ethic of the teacher if uh, he use uh, this this way uh, I think uh, because you can do uh, use this for good things and for bad things. Uh, but uh, the teacher that, then, that understand these principles and uh, have ethics uh, ca can use it uh, this good way. So <laughs> uh, we, we, uh, we try to choose uh, the people. Uh, so not everyone can uh, teach uh, children. Uh, they uh, have uh, they learn uh, about uh, about how to use these techniques and uh, what is wrong, what is good. And uh, the same thing is nonviolent communication. Uh, that uh, that is a more bigger problem problem because when you you use it as a technique uh, it's the pure manipulation and it's evil so so uh, uh, very important is uh, uh, what people you choose to your project and uh, your company okay hi here <laughs> I think you are sharing some of your principles with some old-fashioned school systems like Montessori Schule or also Waldorf Schule are you in contact with these people with these teachers um, I, I have one friend <laughs> that um, he, uh, is in a uh, very uh, um, very close connection with uh, Waldorf uh, Schulz and um, he, he like uh, anthrosop uh, anthrosopophia and things like that. But I don't want to um, cooperate with, with uh, these kind of uh, schools uh, because, not because they are bad, they, uh, work, uh, uh, their work is very good, but uh, we want to uh, have, uh, from perspective of our marketing, is better to be seen as innovative idea than uh, some idea that is uh, the uh, alternative. Uh, you understand. Uh, uh, in Slovakia, have Waldorf uh, school problems because there was a big, uh, a big medial, uh, mm, big medial pressure on them. That there are some e esoterics uh, in the uh, in the school and things like that. Uh, I think that is not true, but. Uh, but uh, the community is very specific, and I want to uh, learn uh, public. I, I, I want to, uh, to teach public, yes. Yeah, so, so first of all, uh, th thanks a lot for what you're doing. It's, it's, it's super important. Uh, I, I have eight years daughter, and uh, for the last couple of years was trying to find something to help her and um, I didn't find anything and actually right now decided to start the free time uh, group or free time course in their school. So um, my question is, uh, would you be interested, uh, interested um, in like helping me with kind of, you know, uh, bootstrapping the structured program? So it looks like you already have a lot of experience. So yeah, can, can I contact you to you know, discuss how I can structure the course based on actually your experience and use this in a local, like, free time. Uh, yes, we can activity. speak after. <laughs> after okay, cool. So, so thank you once more. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay.
Okay, uh, thank you very much for your questions and your presentation and answers. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think we should clap one more time for him. Thank you very much. Thank you.